Hey everybody and welcome back to Argentina Sal. On today's video, I am going to be visiting a restaurant that is located in Miami, Florida and it is the one and only Nusret Salt Bay restaurant. And what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way from Buenos Aires to Miami, Florida. We are going to go to the restaurant, we're going to collect content and then we're going to come back to Buenos Aires and we're going to compare it with one of our local steakhouses here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. So stay tuned and enjoy this video where I'm going to be comparing the Nusret Steakhouse experience versus the typical Argentine asado or an Argentine steakhouse. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I look forward to seeing you shortly in Miami. Hello everyone and guess where I am. So today we're going to visit Nusret and we're going to be visiting the Miami downtown Nusret Steakhouse. So this is gonna be a case of us observing Nusret and really seeing how much of the Argentine grilling is being influenced in the Salt Bay restaurant. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you uh, what we find and my experience visiting a Nusret Steakhouse. Yeah. Okay guys, so we've come to Nusret, uh, Salt Bay's restaurant. Supposedly, everyone says he's super cancelled. But with his 55 million followers on Instagram, I think it's kind of far from being cancelled right now. So we're going to come and check out his restaurant and then we're going to compare it with how we consider the Argentine steak and fall of the burning industry and what this restaurant really means in regards to Miami and everything that he has done at an international scale. So stay tuned. Oh, I was going to ask him there, are you guys traveling? Yeah. yeah. No. No, no. no. Just, okay. Foodies. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Can you go follow me this? Oh, this is great. This is amazing. The question is, is quiet creepy? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so here's the, the menu. You have some starters over here, which is, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, then we have some salads, we have some sides, and then we have like the main, the main Wagyu steaks, prime steaks, and the salt baked golden experience, which has some very, very interesting price tags. Um, that's kind of, I guess, what makes it so different from all of the other steakhouses is the, is the price tag um, and the experience, but we're gonna find out. Um, can you tell me like where should I start? Because I've never been here before, it's the first time, and I want to know where to start. I do want to mention that yeah. uh, shareable portion that we have is going to be the Salve Tomahawk. Yeah. That's our Wagyu steak, yeah. 20 ounces. Okay. 38, we come with a bone, okay. but without a bone, it's 20 ounces. 20 ounces. It's pretty good for two people yeah. to share. That one is a Wagyu, okay. the most flavorful that we yeah. have. Mm -hmm. Golden Tomahawk, actually, that's the highest mobilization yeah. that we have. Uh, and then we have the prime Tomahawk. It's going to be less model standard, yeah. but still pretty good. Okay. Other than that, we do have the Amor, that's yeah. a rib cap. Yeah. The rib cap is also by you, but mm -hmm. covers the ribs. So it gets all that flavor, but no bone and no fat. Okay. That is Perfect. Thank you. These ones here are more marble, so like when she refers to marble, she means that there's more, there's that grainy fat in the fiber of the meat. That's the key word.
so big. Can Be honest. Surprisingly, surprisingly, it's very good. But you know what really makes a difference? Is this like the um, the quality of the sole? It's key. Um, I I personally have a little bit more done. But it's a nine, it's not a ten because of the price tag, it's a nine. Okay guys, so here's the real deal. The steak was very impressive. The Wagyu is definitely the best option. Um, I don't think the gold is worth it. The Wagyu is very expensive, but it was really, really, really good and everything was very pristine, very clean, very organized, but there was nobody. There was like two people in a 150 salute like size room. So that's the only thing which is a bit strange, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay guys, so I am back and it has been a fantastic day here in downtown Miami. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I could live here. It's so many people, it's a fantastic city. It's incredible to see, you know, all of these different cultures and people coming together and living here and working here and you know really progressing it's incredible the amount of investment and movement and activity but the reality is i am not a big fan of the city if any of you guys know me i like to be out in the country or at the beach but i don't like the city anyway i went to the nusret restaurant as you guys have seen in this video and to be honest the steak was absolutely incredible i really really appreciate the wagyu meat i do think it needs to be held in context when you analyze these different steaks and you know their price tag you really need to understand you know the origins of why the cow has been you might say purposed for that type of meat and really understanding you might say the origins of these of these different cuts and these different ways of you might say breeding the cow to achieve that type of taste now i really really enjoyed the tomahawk and i thought the obviously they brought it to us as you can see it was like pretty rare i prefer to you know have it like medium rare and it was you know it was very rare but the point was is that it was a great Great experience. Uh, they looked after us very well. They gave us a tour of the kitchen. They gave us a tour of where they keep their meat and their wine. But the most important thing of all of this is why was there nobody in the restaurant? It was 1.30 p.m. on a Friday afternoon. There was nobody in the restaurant. I think there was one or two tables out of the 40 tables that are available at that restaurant. So 150 people, and there are probably maybe four or five people in the restaurant. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the quality of the meat is there, but the price tag? I don't know if everyone, A, can afford this, I don't think they can, and B, I don't know if it's worth it. Because honestly, for that price tag, you can buy multiple pieces of steaks and enjoy multiple different pieces uh, or different cuts and have different experiences and enriching your understanding and respect of beef and of the, uh, of the cow. And I really think that when you think about other restaurants, other Argentinian restaurants or other um, steak restaurants, Brazilian steak restaurants here as well in Miami, the price tag is about 60 or 70% less. 
So if you're gonna order a plate of food and spend $300 and you know that's fine, then tick it off, then great. But when it comes to the value of what you're getting versus what you're paying, I definitely don't think it's good value for money. The steak was good, was great. And as I said, I gave it nine points. And the only reason why I didn't give it 10 was I was just so shocked by the price tag. But outside of that, I really wanna send my appreciation to all of the staff at Nusret Miami. It was a great experience. They looked after us really, really well. And most importantly, we had a great experience. And I think grilling is all about two things, respect and experience. And we felt that during the time at Nusret, Salt Bay, Miami, we got both of those. So I just really wanna communicate that wherever you go in the world and whatever steak you try, uh, really think about what happens around, how is the steak brought to you? How is it prepared? What is the respect that they've given to this incredibly nutritious, dense piece of meat? So we really, really enjoyed it. And uh, we had a great experience and they really respected us and they respected the food. So I would go back, but unfortunately, uh, my bank won't let me. So I'm gonna go with a nine. The steak was great. The price tag for me was way too heavy. Hey guys, so I've come to the Argentine version of Nusret. It's called Carniceria, which means butcher. And we are gonna show you some Argentine steak. And we're gonna compare it to Nusret. And this is probably gonna be like one tenth of the cost. Of course, you're not in Miami downtown. Um, so we're gonna show you guys a little bit the menu and uh, the experience. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome to Carniceria. So this is the mature, the mature beef that we have here. We have a T-bone, you can see there's a T-bone there. This is a rack of ribs. And I think there we have some brisket. And this is also the end of the rack of ribs. Super, super interesting. So if we compare this to the, the uh, Nusret's, uh, Nusret's mature wagyu. Ya está la punta, eh. Se venían todas. ¿Qué más? 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 ¿